Welcome everyone to the first match of the CBL. It's week one, and I'm actually not participating in the first match, which is funny, because you figure I would be. Patrick didn't have his Pokemon ready when Dylan wanted to battle, so yeah. So I stepped up to the plate here to take him on. Uh, you can see what Pokemon we're on bringing here. Um, I have my, my Ferrothorn, my Arcanine, Nidoking, Chandelure, Electros, and my Mega Gyarados. And you see Dylan there. Uh, he actually didn't bring his Mega this round. Oh, he didn't? No. He didn't. I just now realized that. I did. I just realized it he, too. He, his Mega is T-Tar, by the way. Uh, he did not bring that. Uh, we, we just uh, had this battle a couple, hours, couple hours ago. A couple hours ago. And Josh will be talking more in this match because when I was during this match, I was breeding Pokemon and I'm trying, trying to, to sit, stay. Intervene. Yeah, because we usually help each other battle when we're battling, but we're codependent like that. Yeah, but let's play. All right, let's play. Let's watch. Yeah, I'm glad. I, I'm glad it speeds up. It's kind of nice. It is. All right, so for the lead here, I come out with Ferrothorn because I figure as long as he doesn't lead with, with Lucario, I can set up with uh, Interhazard's no problem. So what does Dylan do? He leads with Lucario. So I'm like, oh. well, darn. I am not going to take a close combat, so I decide to switch out to Gyarados, who's, you know, resistant because of the flying type. And he swords down. It, it was, Dylan played, like, flawlessly this match. He did, and his Lucario outspeeds me. So I was like, alright, I should be able to D-dance and then get through. But what I didn't realize is when I Mega Evolve, I become Dark type. So I no longer resist close combat. Otherwise, I would have survived this upcoming uh, plus two. Plus two. Close combat. It does. That that what that was uh, definitely my biggest mistake. This whole match, right there, right there. Because uh, when when this was happening, I was breathing. I was like casually watching. I was like, Joshua, don't do it. Don't the mega ball. And I did it. I, I don't know what I was thinking because I know better. But I think you might have been thinking that he was bulky. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, I come out with Chandelure and I go for a stab flamethrower. Uh, he switches out into Floatzel. And this is actually going to do just over half. Now I figure he probably has Aqua Jet and Choice Scarf, but I figure I'm going to go for another Flamethrower because I can finish him. He hits me, I take it pretty well. This is 3 hit. Yep. yep. And so I finish him here off with a Flamethrower. And dies. I hate that thing. <laughs> and then after his flow select, he comes in with his Frogator, yep. This kind of destroyed his team. And at this point, I, I switch out and I go into. Oh shit, we were supposed to be taking. I go into Nitto King. I'm in Nitto King, so I'm like, ah, he's gonna go with the water move. I can soak that up, you know, not too bad. But no, instead he goes for the EQ. There's a horrendous amount of damage. And for some reason, I thought my uh, my Nitto King was faster, for, so I go for the T Bolt. He's apparently Nitto. faster, so. There, there's mistake number two. I wonder what the speed is on both of them. Uh, for Alligator 78 and Middle King's 80, he's jolly and I don't think I am. And Chandler killed Floatzel, right? Yep. And for Alligator right here. Coming with an energy. Oh, no, no, that's right. And he lives right. it. He, he lives it. Because I could have sworn it was going to kill. He comes in with his waterfall and destroys my choice scarf, Chandelure. So now my Chandelure is out of it. He's my revenge killer, so. Oof. For and so here's where I should have switched out into my Arcanine and E speeded. Because because things go downhill from here. I come out through the Electros, and I'm like, I'm going to coil. You know, up my defense, attack. I'll be good, I'll be good. Because see, that does nothing with coil. But he gets the 10% chance to freeze me. And Dylan always gets these 10% chances. Like, he is one of the luckiest battlers in all of freaking existence. So I'm like, alright, I can't risk a switch out. I'm just going to go for a coil or a spark again. I can't remember which. But I'm going to go for it. He sort of dances. Yep, he swords dances on me, plus gets more lefties recovery. And I remain frozen for this turn. It was a hard battle to watch, because I really wanted to help you. Now here comes the next turn, and this turn I went for a spark, last was a, a coil. So I go for a spark, but uh bad things are about to happen. He's frozen on the animation, it's kinda cool. That is cool. He hits me with a plus two waterfall, and that is actually the end of the Electros. Oh really, that kills him? Yeah, cause oh. he's not, well it was a crit, which is why. Plus he's not super physically bulky, and I depend on the coil for the physical bulk. Uh. He's really especially bulky. So here he is, getting more HP from his leftovers, and stalling with freezing. So now I come out with my Arcanine. Get the Intimidate off, bring him down to plus one. 
and I E speed for the kill on that. Archon kills for alligator. We need to do better of keeping these trackers. Yeah, we do keep track. Alright, so he comes back out into uh Cario. Cario. And I'm choice banded, so I'm like crap. Which is a bad idea. We should have went expert bell. Should have gone expert bell. Well, I thought this battle was gonna go differently. I did too. I got into Ferrothorn to sack him off because my uh, my Arcanine can do damage to everybody, whereas Ferrothorn cannot. Okay. Plus, I get the uh, he gets the D drop, and then I get the uh, the Iron Barb and the Rocky Helm residual damage there, which actually does quite a solid amount to him. Arcanine finishes him right with the Flare Blitz. That's correct. Arcanine's gonna come over here. I'm gonna go ahead with the Choice Bend Flare Blitz, which actually does like two to three hundred percent damage to Lucario. So it was a little bit of overkill, but I just he, needed. he hits me with his E speed because he knows I'm gonna I'm gonna finish him. So he gives for the little residual damage. And now with the Flare Blitz, I take Luke here out, and I get you know my recoil damage. Ugh. And then I believe Raikou comes out here, because he's the only one left on his team who doesn't take super effective damage from a fire-type move. So here's his event Raikou, and I'm choice banded and locked in, so I go ahead for the Flare Blitz regardless, and he outspeeds an Aura Spheres. However, Arcanine, being bulky as hell, comes out with 7 HP and does the Flare Blitz. Arcanine kills Raikou with a crit, and Arcanine goes down to the recoil. And that pretty much wraps up the match. So how would we list that as Arcanine killing himself? Would that be Raikou's kill, or just a death? I think it's just a death. I'm not sure how we'll end up counting that, but it's a recoil death. Arcanine just dies. I think I got everyone. I think you did too. Like, anyway, it was a... Uh, I made some... Awful moves, and Dylan made some really excellent predictions. Yeah, Dylan, with setting up. I because no offense to Dylan, but like whenever we play, whenever I've played against him, like one he Dylan gets this. Whenever he wins, it's because of like a super lucky ten percent chance thing, and he usually just relies on just like this like brute force weird like strategy thing. And he actually played like really really well. He did play really well this game, and he was fairly weak to fire. Which, you know, is common for his team, so I brought a couple fire types and a couple of Pokemon that were wielding grass moves, but he just he just outplayed me big time in that one. There's always I, nice made week. I made some mistakes. That's right, I got nine more weeks to take that back. Yeah, so. But um You can reach Joshua. I'm at Joshua Newlin on Twitter. And Dylan at Geekman Eleven. I was kinda of, when I said that I was like waiting for him to reply, but he wasn't here. Before Dylan. He'll be here tomorrow. Yes, but uh, no. um I'm at Mr. Patrick King. Uh, stick, stay tuned for more uh, CBL battles. It's it's actually really exciting because I was getting like nervous. I was too. I was like sweating playing that battle. I oh, think I'm I th so angry. I think it's because like the whole um, oh, oh no, you know the, this. the DS is low on battery. I don't know. I've been playing it way too much today. But uh, I think it's just because there's like something on the stake, something on the line. Right, I guess. But uh, there'll be more battles up. And this will be the first one. So Patrick and I have to go, and then Dylan and Patrick are going this week, so... Yeah, I'm I look forward to uh, crushing you, Patrick. I don't know. This, this, watching this battle... <laughs> but, uh, We're gonna ignore this battle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time, and go catch them all!